Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. And we've got another edition of Big Red's Bargain Bin. Now, I found uh, this guy surfing SMKW one night. And it really kind of caught my attention. And it's from Old Forge. Now, I had never seen an Old Forge knife. It looks to be, obviously, a budget brand. Um... So I was like, okay, let's let's give this a try. Let's give this one a shot. Now, like I said, I did pick it up on SMKW. Um, I think it was like 16 bucks, maybe. So definitely less than 20 Does fall into the bargain bin category. That's why I chose it. Um, and I just kind of wanted to take a look at it. Now, <laughs> as you can see... Um, it, it's got one, it's got something written on the blade that gave me a little bit of hesitation. I'll go ahead and I'll show you that right now, but there you go. There it is. But I still wanted to check it out. Still wanted to take a look at it. So I did. And you know, it, it's kind of, you know, I, Hey, I talked about this before about expectations, you know, shouldn't have expectations. But you have certain connotations in your mind. And this one kind of, unfortunately, does fall into some of those that I was uh, concerned about. I, I had concerns, let's just say that. So as you can see, you've got the file work going down. It goes down most of the way. I, I, I think it is supposed to go down all the way. I, I would imagine it is. Um... They don't necessarily follow the grooves on the bone, and I don't think they're supposed to. The bone is actually comes out pretty nicely. Uh, but there again, I, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. And if you saw on the blade, it it it's like that as well. I, I don't know. That, that's kind of the hard to. And then we've got some we got some schmutz. You know, and it says you know stainless steel. So you're like okay. And, you know, there's there's certain connotations with knives from Pakistan. I'm just going to, I mean, let's not beat around the bush. I really like the way this knife looks. I love the overall design of it. I like the shape. You know, you've got that Barlow shape. I love the blade. I, I just, I really like it. But there's, and yes, it is a budget knife, 100%. Like I said, I spent maybe 16 bucks on it. Um, the edge, really rough. Really rough. Um, I'll give you, I can mean I can give you a quick example. I, I, I usually don't mess with knives before I show them to you. I even stropped it a little bit. And I mean, I got, I got it okay. I mean, it does cut, but not well. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a knife I really wanted to see. It caught my eye. Now, as I always say, even with good knives, sample size of one. The next one might be a little bit better. I don't know. But my overall first impression of Old Forge knives, unfortunately, kind of exceeded expectations. And like I said, I probably shouldn't have had those expectations going into it. But at some point, you do, kind of. I mean, it's human nature, really. So, but dang it, I was really wanting it to be a little bit more than what it is. Because I really, 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 even the even on the bolster, you know, the milling that you've got going on there on the bolster, I like. I kind of like the way it looks. And the overall shape and design, I really like it. I really like it. The action, I mean, it's got a good back spring. The pull, you got the nail neck out there. The pull, that's at least a six to a six and a half. There's no half stop. Might even be pushing a seven. It snaps open. It snaps shut. Let's see. I mean, kind of with that file work, you got brass liners going on there. Nickel silver bolsters. But there's just a lot of, there are a lot of little, little things, you know, that you can see. 
and you know knives from pakistan kind of get oh by the way uh there are damascus versions of this uh so keep your eyes open guys but yeah i mean i don't know i mean i i don't know for the price and like i said sample size of one it might be worth checking out an old another one just to see how they are because golly there's a buffalo horn one uh pretty much the same pattern design how do i like the design though man doggone and yeah i mean there's probably several others out there that very that mimic this pattern for sure blade shape handle shape you know that are in a little bit better a little bit better quality you know but i my first impression with old forge knives and I, i'm i hate to say it but you know well i mentioned it before there's some certain connotations about knives coming from pakistan and i know there probably are some good knives made there um but this is kind of what you end up getting very inconsistent i mean tell me what you guys think I, i'm i don't think that should look like that i don't think that should look like that there's just a little other things like that i don't know i don't know you tell me guys when i'm trying to do this bargain bin i am trying to bring you stuff you know good stuff that comes in for less than twenty dollars I guess I could try to give this one a good sharpening just to see. I mean, there's there's very, not very good, you know, ideas about the steel that comes from Pakistan. I understand that as well. So, I don't know. Maybe they just can't all be winners. Maybe that's just the way it is. And I know it is. I know that. They can't all be 100% terrific knives. But I really wanted to try Old Forge. I wanted to see what they had. So might give it one more shot just to see. I think that would be fair. Um, talk about preconceived notions. Unfortunately, yes, I have them big time after seeing this one. But to be fair, to be fair, I think maybe... But tell me what you guys think. I, I want to know your guys' honest opinion. Let me feel free. You know, be nice. Be respectful. But give me your honest opinion. 100%. I want to hear it. But please be respectful. Not everybody always is. And those people get booted most of the time. But anyway, thanks guys. Really appreciate it. Taking a shot at checking out an old forge knife. This one might fall into the category of... They just can't all be winners, but have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.